people what's going on. Really interesting development in the Junior Seau story. Junior Seau committed suicide by shooting himself in the chest last May. Brain specialist examined Junior Seau's brain and concluded that he had CTE. It's chronic traumatic encephalopathy. It's a disease associated with repeated head trauma. Now you look at Junior Seau, he played in the NFL for 20 years. He's banging heads for two decades. And this is one of the possible outcomes. Now I know a lot of people want to blame the NFL solely for this. And when people blame the NFL, I always want to know what they expect the NFL to do. Listen, I want to say this as clear as possible. It's extremely unfortunate what happened with Junior Seau. One of the best players in the game died far too early outside of his great status in the NFL as a player. Just as a man, as a brother, as a son, family member, a friend, died way too early. But there isn't one thing that the NFL can do to make sure that no player suffers from CTE while keeping football football. Nothing. Just look at Junior Seau playing linebacker for two decades in the NFL. These guys are smashing into each other for that long, that repeatedly, that constantly. You're going to have an outcome that might be as horrible and painful and sad as this. The NFL is an incredibly violent game. When these guys collide, it's like a car crash. And if you have car crashes for that long, you're going to have some really unfortunate outcomes. That's just the reality of things. The NFL could and should have independent doctors to examine players who are banged up. If you look at the rules of the game, they're trying to tweak football to make the game safer. There's only so much you can do, though, while keeping football football. It's going to be flag football if they change too many of the rules. So that's what the NFL is up against. They want to make it safer, but you have to be realistic as a fan. You have to understand where the NFL is. They can only make the game so safe. When Junior Seau is heading through the line of scrimmage, meeting running backs in the hole for 20 years, and you have head-to-head -head collisions, you're going to have repeated head trauma. That's just the way it works. Look at NASCAR. There are deaths in NASCAR. It's an incredibly dangerous sport. And people are far more accepting of the risks in that sport. Why is it completely foreign to fans in football who want to blame the NFL solely when players play an incredibly violent game? This can be one of the outcomes. It's not to say tough deal with it, it's just to say be realistic about how much you do blame the NFL. But go ahead and comment below, incredibly sad story, but just understand that the NFL is not totally and solely at fault when something like this happens. Go ahead and comment below, I'm Brian No, that's a no-brainer.